Hey there! Welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my Unlimited Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Aliens Fireteam Elite. First, I have to say that I'm a big fan of Ridley Scott and the Waylon Utani universe. I've seen every movie multiple times and loved every moment of it. So, it should come as no surprise that I would be drawn to the Aliens Fireteam Elite game. Another glorious day in the Corps. Day in the Marine Corps is like a day on the farm. Every meal is a banquet. Every paycheck a fortune. Every formation a parade. I love the Corps! Ever since Halo 3 ODST, I've become a fan of the badass underdog. Absolutely badasses! Let's pack them in! Get in there! Speaking of Halo and, and the Aliens universe, have you ever really noticed the parallels between the two? Sergeant Apone and Sergeant Johnson, the Flood and Xenomorphs, the UD-4 Cheyenne dropship and the D-77TC Pelican, and finally the Covenant Elite and the Yacha or Predators. Aliens Fireteam Elite feels unique among a sea of shooters. So these colonial marines are very tough hombres. They're packing state-of-the-art firepower. There's nothing they can't handle. Lieutenant, am I right? That's true. We've been trained to deal with situations like this. With the requisition system, the perk system, classes, and setting, all lending to its individuality. I'll admit I was not expecting nuance in this game but I was pleasantly surprised by the attention to detail and how every choice mattered. Where you want it? The story is your typical alien marine rescue mission that suddenly goes sideways. But how and why it goes sideways is the interesting part. Five. We're on express elevator to hell, going down. Play the game and find out for yourself. The visuals are good, and so is most of the music. However, there is one particular track that feels a little bit out of place every time I hear it. I honestly expect to see a Jawa stumble from around the corner. So, all of this is well and good, but how does it play? Well, I think it's great. The movement and the camera feels fluid, and every weapon has its purpose, with only one or two feeling like dead weight or outclassed. Check it out. Independently targeting particle beam failings. Wow! For a half a city with this puppy. We got tactical smart missiles, base plasma pulse rifles, RPGs, we got sonic electronic ball breakers! We got nukes, we got knives, sharp sticks. At higher difficulty, this game pulls no punches. Go in without a proper perk build? Dead. Go in with the wrong weapon loadout? Dead. Go, well, go in without a plan? Dead. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. absolutely love the challenges this game presents, and it keeps me coming back for more. Now, let's get to that game score. All right. Let's go, people. They ain't paying us by the hour. Let's go. Hit them out. Aliens Fireteam Elite for the PlayStation 4. Well, it gets a starting score of 3 because it was a, it was a game that was successfully made and distributed. Affirmative. Uh, it is both physical and digital, so it gains a point. The immersion is actually really good, so it gains 2 points there. Uh, the DLC was actually free uh, for the most part, and it gains a point. The voice actors definitely... <laughs> The, the voice actors definitely, definitely feel appropriate for the universe, so that gains a point. Game length is pretty good, so that's a point. The story is actually very good for a, a budget shooter, uh, so it gains two points there. The level design, uh, despite some of the assets looking like they are reused multiple times through different stages, that, that gains two points. Uh, Play balance, PvP. Well, there's no PvP, it's all PvE, and 
surviving with your squad. Um, complete experience. Yeah, it gains two points. Sense of progression. It definitely gets its two points there. Fairness, punishing, and RNG. I really didn't feel like the RNG was unfair or anything like that. And not too punishing. So it gains two points. Game value to MSRP cost. Uh, the MSRP, if I, if I recall correctly, is $39.99 for this game originally. And... Uh, I definitely get more than a little bit more than my value out of that, so two points there. Multiplayer online gains a point. Choice and consequences. Well, you know, you can choose your guns, you can choose your builds, and you can choose your team composition. Uh, it gains three points. Uh, it's all very, very important on making the right choices, and, and I really like that. Uh, the sound soundtrack, it only gains one point because, honestly, there there's that one track that just feels silly. Uh, visuals. Um, H.R. Geiger, H.R. Giger, I, I, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, he's an absolute genius, and this, this all plays off of his stuff, so two points. Controls. Uh, it's a standard FPS, so it gains two points. Um, difficulty, it gains three points. I really like the scalability of the difficulty in this game. Um, where in the easier easier uh, difficulties, friendly fires turned off, and in the higher ones, friendly fires turned on. Just as an example. Gameplay versus and combat, uh, two points. The replay value, the replay value is basically based around multiplayer and I got lucky enough to be able to play with uh, the old ass retro gamer he he helped me through the last couple of missions on on the campaign and it was a lot of fun I have to say that multiplayer in this game is definitely a lot of fun camera two points uh, oh yeah the multiplayer got three points just in case I didn't mention it somebody wake up hick unlockable and rewards one point his, I mean, they're there, and they're, there's quite a few unlockables. Sense of accomplishment, two points. And uh, that's the end of all the categories, so Aliens Fireteam Elite for the PlayStation 4 scores 42 points. That's really, really good for a game that wow. is under $40. Uh, you know, considering that, you know, what one of the highest ranking games is around 52 or 54 points. This is really, really high. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it is definitely meant for multiplayer and for having fun with a lot of friends. But um, that's it, guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.